Hi, I'm Roger Marcus, a guitar tech here at Spurzel. I get a lot of questions uh, from people that want to know can they put this on this on their guitar themselves. And yes, it's possible if you're fairly handy at woodworking. And if not, like I always tell people, you should always go to a, a qualified repairman if, if you think that if, if you're in doubt. But if you're going to take on this project yourself, what you want to do, when you take the tuning keys out, you'll notice that there's a little side flap here. And on the side flap, there's a little template. And the template will show you where the holes are that you're going to put on your guitar. And if you've already, you want to check and see what the hole size is already, the hole size on our tuners is 25 30 seconds or a W drill. Or you can also use a 10 millimeter drill as well. Okay, for the little stabilizing pin, you're going to drill a small hole with a number 36 or 2.7 millimeter. When you install the Spurzel tuning keys, you have to make sure that the script writing at the top of the tuning key is, is readable, not upside down. These tuning keys are not meant to go in existing holes. If you've got existing holes in the guitar that are pretty close, you're going to have to fill them in and re-drill it. As far as our tuning keys go, there's no parts that are, are uh, repairable themselves. If you have a problem, you should give us a call and we'll try to straighten it out for you. Also, sometimes when you install the strings on it, sometimes the inner pin that, that's inside the post doesn't drop down all the way and you may have trouble inserting your uh, heavy string. So you want, might want to back off this wheel just enough to where you, that, that pin on the inside of the post is going to drop down and you can insert the string.